Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. There's more to choosing a monitor than just the size, so we're going to be talking about resolution as well as pixel density and how they affect the way the image is displayed on the screen in terms of the overall sharpness and reduction of what are called jaggies. The next Celsius View 27 inch WQHD or whatever it is, yeah, WQHD. 2560 by 1440 monitor. So it's a 27 inch, but what sets this 27 inch monitor apart from others is the sharpness and clarity of the image because the pixels are much more dense. It also has a wide variety of features and comes at a very attractive price point because manufacturing panels with higher pixel density does require more manufacturing precision and it is more difficult. So it's got height adjust, tilt, it has pivot, and also actually has there you go, full rotation. HDMI in, DVI in, DisplayPort in are all supported. However, to get that full resolution, you're going to want to use DisplayPort or Dual Link DVI off of your graphics card. It has an IPS panel, so even at extreme angles, you're going to be able to see the full color without any distortion. And it has a pretty reasonable response time, especially for an IPS panel. So we're going to be trying it out with some games before we finish this NCIX Tech Tips to let you know how it goes. Because for games, having higher pixel density reduces the need for anti-aliasing technology to make lines appear smooth. So we'll start with an in-depth look at resolution. Any LCD or digital flat panel is going to have a resolution, so that is how many dots there are horizontally versus how many dots there are vertically. They're always going to have the spec, 1280 by 1024, 1920 by 1200, 2560 by 1440. So the amount of dots affects a number of things. It affects how much detail you can put in the picture because it's like if you take an image and you downsample it in size and then try and blow it back up, that's what you're playing around with. You're playing around with how many pixels it has. So the more samples you have, the more pixels you have, the more detailed, the more color richness you can have, and the more sharp an image is going to look overall. It also makes it more demanding. So running a high resolution monitor like this one requires a modern graphics card with a dual link DVI connection or a display port connection to work at peak efficiency because it needs the bandwidth provided by those connections to put all of that data to the monitor. The last thing to remember about resolution is especially for gaming, it becomes significantly more demanding. So in order to drive this panel at full res, you will need a more modern graphics card. Something to think about if you upgrade to a high resolution display. That leads us to the concept of pixel density. Apple's talked about it a lot with retina displays. What's a retina display? A retina display is what they're calling a display that is optimized so that it has a high enough density that at the distance that it's meant to be used at, so for a handheld device about like this, for a monitor about like this, at that distance you can't see the individual pixels. So that's why we've gotten away with for so long having 1080p TVs even though they're like 60 plus inches big because you sit so far away from them in order to optimally use them that it doesn't really matter. But that's why for monitors like this where it's getting to be a little bit too big to sit at a desk experience distance from it and not be able to see the pixels, it's important to have a higher resolution. It also improves productivity and enhances your gaming experience. So you probably saw this before, but we had two documents side by side. It allows you to easily cross-reference without using multi-monitors, and the text is still readable. With the trade-off being that as text does get smaller, uh, people with who use glasses or have poor eyesight might have a little bit more trouble. So that's where increasing the size helps as well. With gaming, it just, I mean, honestly, gaming on a large format monitor is great, but if the pixels are huge, then it's... Uh, it can detract from the experience. I mean, if you were to game on a TV that's 42 inches big and is right in front of you, like at a desktop, it wouldn't be that great of an experience because you can actually see black squares around each individual pixel. It doesn't look that great. So having that high resolution is fantastic as long as you're willing to invest in the gaming hardware. It's all about the optimal experience. And this one, actually, we threw it into, uh, we threw it into Crisis 3 here just to check out what the motion blur is like. It's not bad, also known as ghosting, by the way. So thank you for checking out this episode on pixel density. I hope you guys have learned a thing or two about what to look for when shopping for a monitor. So remember, it's size as well as resolution and how those two relate to each other and how far you will actually be sitting away from the device while you use it. 
Thanks for checking out this episode of NCIX Tech Tips. And as always, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from your favorite e-tailer, NCIX.com.